So my name's Louise, I work for the charity Listening Books. We um, have an audiobook library for anybody that finds that their illness, um, disability or mental health impacts on their ability to read. Okay, and what kind of books are in your library? We've got uh, just over 7,000 audiobooks, so it's all the really popular commercial titles. You'll find the Harry Potters, Agatha Christie's, everything that you would in a bookshop. Yeah. Um, but then also we have books that focus specifically on disability and mental health. Um, so yeah, a huge library of those types of books as well as yeah as well as the big the big hits and so are the books there to kind of educate or you talked before when we spoke off camera about maybe some people find it calming or what are the different reasons? exactly i mean i think for, for different people they have different reasons for wanting to join and listen to audiobooks some it's literally just I want. I, I, I can't read the printed word. I yeah. want to listen. And for others, we have people tell us that uh, it's their oasis of calm. It's what they need to calm down before bed. Yeah. Or if somebody's having, um, you know, kind of panic attacks or something, that might be their their the thing they go to. That yeah. they do a bit of escapism. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's a real mix. And what's the difference between signing up to listening books as opposed to like Audible? So, uh, well, we're a charity, so <laughs> it's it's much much cheaper. We are only um, twenty pounds for the whole year and to okay. access as many as you like and actually if you can't afford that then we have free memberships as well oh wow so um yeah so, so how do people join up um, you can visit us online at our website if you go to www.listening-books.org.uk mm -hmm. um, you can go to become a member and join there and, it, and it'll ask you the question there if, if, if we don't take any kind of we take it on trust basically if you tick a box and say that you know 20 pound is a bit too much for you at this time then that's yeah. absolutely fine and I have a lot of people who are um, watching the channel who maybe might be working with say adolescents struggling with anxiety what would be your recommended book for them to get started oh my god on the spot yeah that really <laughs> does put me on the spot I think, look, thinking back to when I was a child, yeah. rather than going for a book that actually talks about anxiety, I just, I just want to escape. I yeah. just want to um, forget about the day and forget about all, everything else and just listen to a fiction book. Yeah. So again, that might depend on the child's age and what they're into, but just choose something that they like. So if they like football, um, choose a book... Um, about a, a child playing football or if it's you know wizards and what have you get Harry Potter or David yeah. Walliams and just let them shut off their brain to everything else and just relax and do you think that the audiobooks allows people to kind of lose themselves in a book in that way a bit more than um, kind of physical reading or I, I think so I think that, that that's definitely true because especially if you're struggling to mm -hmm. read the printed word it, it you can, you can be really struggling to kind of decode the text. So you're not taking in the story and you're not enjoying it because the whole concentration is what does that word say. Yeah. Um, and, and with these you can just, yeah, relax so into it. Just lose into it. That's exactly right, yeah. Brilliant. What about for children who've got um, perhaps special needs that might make it harder for them to read? Do you think that listening to books is a kind of, you know, valid way of improving their literacy? And, and Definitely. Kind of we have feedback from members who, who said that um, when they started, their child didn't, didn't, didn't want to read because they couldn't read. And audiobooks instill that love of the story and love of reading and makes them want to go back um, to a book especially if, say we haven't got something yeah. and they're in a in their inner series and then the only way that they can get hold of it is to to sit down and read it yeah we, we hear that a lot actually and do you ever kind of get kids who maybe read alongside so they've got the physical book as well as yeah. listening to it yeah, and is do. it kind of word for word though they're, yes they're, they're full and on the bridge yeah all of, everything's full and on the bridge i think we've got a, a couple of classics but we've definitely marked them a yeah. bridge okay. um, and we've also got some books for younger readers that do have the pictures and the words with them oh. that highlight they are only younger readers and we've only got about 20 or so but you know the other books that we buy and that we record in house ourselves mm -hmm. all are all full and unabridged. And actually, I should tell you that as well. We, we record in house in our own studios yeah. educational oh. books. Oh, yeah. So anything that we can't buy commercially, yeah. we try and get those books and record them ourselves. Oh. So and they're specifically books for schools. And we and we say to teachers and parents, let us know if we if we haven't yeah. got something that you need. If we can get it, yeah. then then we try. So we